What's happening, you kind folks? I'm back here and I'm wearing the same hat as last video because this is a series of videos out to the funk. And the funk's right here. And the funk is a funky eye puppet. And uh, the person who plays the, the funk uh, is in the hospital right now and, and getting all patched up and healed up. And I uh, just want to send out tons of energy. And uh, hopefully he's home now because uh, this is the third video of the week. And uh, it's all being debuted right here on the YouTube channel. Welcome on in. If you've never been here before, just get your what I call a creature cushion. Start chillaxing. And I have major grace and gratitude for all of you who spend your precious lifetime in here watching the video and getting the value and taking it and shining on the world and shifting this world back into where we need it to be. And uh, usually what I do is I show you uh, paintings and drawings out of my archive, uh, speed paints, uh, just to kind of, you know, advertise my brand, show you what I do, and, and most of all, curate and document my journey uh, to inspire uh, the artists and creative people behind me. And uh, mainly I talk a lot about a lot of self-development things and, and uh, it applies to any of it. It has a lot of creativity, but uh, this week I've been doing healing for the funk, F-O-N-K, right on my hat again. And uh, I'm going to explore a quote by Dean Ornish. And let's flip it around to uh, Ra, that's the character I play, that's the funky eye puppet character I play, Ra Mien. And uh, let's switch around a little bit to uh, Kabuki, right? The mech, musical mech. And then Raw, and then back to the funk. But this quote by Dean Ornish is, Awareness is the first step in healing. And I could speak to this so direct because I probably have a different angle of interpreting this quote. And uh, lately I've been playing with the word, we're learning. And I think it's such a positive word that has been incorporated worldwide. I hear people all over the internet saying, oh, never stop learning. Definitely never stop learning. But I definitely apply learning to learning about yourself, not learning about the outside world or learning skills, but, but learning how to access yourself, your original self. And that's why I love this quote, because it says awareness is the first step in healing. And awareness to me is becoming aware of who you already be without going to school, without learning skills, without growing up, without meeting certain people, just who you came in this world and you naturally be. That being, that's the one I want you to pay attention to the most, at least the what I pay attention to most, and, and especially with this quote, pay attention to this. It's awareness is the first step in healing. And I think you can live a, a more holistic life, which is healing, right? Because sometimes, like the emotional internal scars, we don't know if we can heal those or not. We don't see them. But you also got to remember, healing is also a parable, right? A representation of actually healing. Like if you cut your, your skin and you open it up and you get an open wound bleed, right? You got to take a little bit of care. You might have to put a Band-Aid on it. You need to wash it, make sure it doesn't get infected, right? And, and give it a lot of, stop struggling through it and just accept that it's going to heal in time and enjoy life around it and get some perspective of like, you know, to be more aware when you're moving around. So you don't just do something kind of sporadically and then you pull a muscle or you cut yourself. Like, uh, I think like three months ago, I was in a hurry getting all my art ready for an art fair and I have to cut up all my prints. And I just was hastily going wrong and kind of like struggling and, and forcing all these things and, and moving and stressing a little bit. Like I wouldn't get done and I was staying up too late and I needed to get. So I grabbed my paper cutter and I just grabbed it and I grabbed it right on the blade and it cut my thumb up like crazy and it was just bleeding all over the place and and uh and so i think that's why uh dean is saying that right now is awareness is the first step in healing so it's being aware that uh you're moving too fast or you're not communicating the same way all your organs inside do the job for you even when you're sleeping you know they're all on automatic your blood pulse your temperature your lungs your heart Everything is just a blessing how it's working. So just becoming more aware, you know, uh, I do a lot of affirmations each day that basically speak to how, uh, you know, uh, the divine love that's inside me, you know, 
it uh, puts in my consciousness health, like put health in awareness of the health, awareness of uh, moving at your own pace and, and knowing everything's going to work out. And, and I know that's challenging. Uh, that's why, once again, I do these videos to remind myself that I need to do that. And, and remember to not forget about that first step. Be aware. And I think uh, when you be aware, you are automatically healing, you know, constantly. And so you can uh, experience life more and more because definitely experiencing life is definitely getting a little bruised, a little beat up, a little cut up, right? And it's not always on your skin and your surface. It, it's deep down in, in your childhood nature, your imagination, your, your uh, you know, your creativity. You can be hurt and you can get your funk stuck so get your funk unstuck because we're gonna have a funky good old time right right there right the funk i know the funk is watching he 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 uh, supports all my art and the channel and he's such an amazing administrator so this goes out to the funk and remember awareness is the first step in healing so get more aware of, of what is your uh you know your real house your lane and what you can bring to you know the symphonic creation we're all in now you know i just look at everything as a symphony now and uh you know and express all the emotions you know get those big crescendos going and and get all the magic going from the soft passages to every form of expression and remember that the spoken word or what they call the spoken word which i call is the original form of poetry is the original music and it allows us to have those courageous dialogues and cut through all the bs and you know feel with each other and sometimes it's intense and it's got to heal so take those purple steps of the amethyst and ride on ride rabbit ride and get your funk on stuck because we all have a funky good old time peace thank you for watching the video